Moscow, Russia reported 9,623 new cases of coronavirus on Saturday, its highest daily rise since the start of the pandemic, bringing the total to 124,054, mostly in the capital Moscow, where the mayor threatened to cut the number of travel permits. The death toll nationwide rose to 1,222 after 57 people died in the last 24 hours, Russia's Coronavirus Crisis Response Center said, after revising the previous day's tally. Russia has been in partial lockdown, aimed at curbing the spread of the novel coronavirus, since the end of March. In Moscow, people who have not obtained a special permit for free movement, are only able to leave their homes to shop, walk their dogs and dispose of garbage. President Vladimir Putin has ordered the restrictive measures, called non-working days, to continue until May 11th inclusive, when the country finishes celebrating the Labor Day and Victory Day holidays. Despite a relatively low number of cases and deaths compared to the United States, Italy and Spain, which have been hit hardest by the disease, Russia's infection curve has not reached a plateau. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobyanin issued an appeal on Saturday to Muscovites to continue to self-isolate. He said the number of critically ill patients is rising, but not as steeply worst-case scenario projections. However, it is obvious that the threat is on the rise, he said in his blog. Sobyanin told Rossiya One TV station that the Moscow authorities may cut the number of digital permits issued for travel across the city if the situation worsens. Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin, the second most senior official in the country after Putin, told the president on Thursday that he had tested positive for coronavirus and that he was temporarily stepping down to recover. First Deputy Prime Minister Andrei Belasov is now serving as acting prime minister in his absence. On Friday, another member of the Russian cabinet, Construction Minister Vladimir Yakushev, announced he had been diagnosed with the virus and that he would be treated in hospital. Dmitry Volkov, one of his deputies, also tested positive, the ministry said. Kuala Lumpur, Reuters, Malaysian authorities on Saturday defended plans to ease coronavirus lockdown measures next week even as the number of new infections jumped to a two-week high. Most businesses will reopen on Monday after a six-week shutdown ordered to fight the COVID-19 outbreak. Schools, cinemas and nightclubs will remain closed, along with the country's borders, and mass gatherings will still be banned. The decision has sparked criticism, including from members of the ruling coalition, that restrictions were being eased too soon. The number of new infections with the novel coronavirus rose by 105 on Saturday, the highest daily increase since April 16. The number of known infections totaled 6,176 while fatalities stood at 103. Security Minister Ismail Sabri said Malaysia was not being hasty in relaxing the curbs, stressing that businesses reopening on Monday will have to implement hygiene and social distancing measures. Last week, Prime Minister Mahidin Yassin extended the coronavirus control measures to May 12, but said more sectors would be allowed to resume operations. Former Prime Minister Najib Razak, whose political party UMNO is part of the ruling coalition, said the easing announced by Mahidin was huge and sudden and that there was no rush to reopen the economy, local media reported. A change.org petition to stop the measures from being partially lifted had garnered over 250,000 signatures on Saturday.